Welcome back to Create Your Future with Amanda. I'm Amanda, where your happiness is my number one priority. Today's subject is three things that you can do right now to have instant confidence in yourself. And if you watch to the end of the video, you'll get a fourth bonus thing that you can do to have confidence in yourself immediately. The first thing is, is to list what you like about yourself. Focus on what you like about yourself. It's so important to love yourself because if you don't love you, nobody else is. Now, I understand that we're not all the same. We're not. We all have different strengths and weaknesses. For instance, one of my weaknesses is actually doing my taxes. I don't like doing it. I'm not very good at doing it. And that's fine because somebody else out there has a strength of doing taxes that they can definitely do my taxes for me. So just because they're good at doing taxes and I'm not, that doesn't mean that I should feel crappy about myself because I have other strengths that maybe they don't actually have. So, you know, list and focus on what's good about you and understand that you're unique, you're special, you're one of a kind, and you're the only one with those talents. And that's fine. I'm not very good at doing ballet. I cannot ice skate to save my life. But yet, you know what? I look at those ice skaters on TV you know, doing those jumps, those flips, those triple sow cows. And I just go, wow. You know, and the thing is, right, is, you know, just because they can do it and I can't doesn't mean that I'm no good, right? So that brings me to number two, avoid comparing yourself to others. We're all different. I mean, could you just imagine the conversation between an apple and an orange? And this apple's like, oh, I'm crispy. And this orange is like, I'm too juicy. I get people's hands wet <laughs> and sticky. I mean, the orange would be like, I'm no good. Oh, come on. No, <laughs> we're all different. Comparing yourself to anybody else is like comparing apples to oranges. It just can't be done because we're all special and unique in our own ways. And you know what? I may have one talent and someone else may other have other talents. I'm great at counseling and life coaching. I'm funny. I've got these talents. Now, my accountant, maybe not great at counseling, probably not a stand-up comedian, you know, and that's fine. That doesn't make them any different. So once we stop comparing ourselves to others, we really can stop and really write down that list of who we are and what we like about ourselves and understand that just because you're not good at what everybody else seems to be doesn't mean that you're any good. I mean, the third thing, the third thing to feel good about yourself is to stop criticizing others. I hate to say it flat out. You know what? The subconscious mind doesn't know if we say something about somebody else as we do to others. So if we run around all day and going, oh my God, look, I can't believe she wore that. Or I can't believe she looks like that. Or look, oh my God, look at her hair. I can't believe she went out like that. If we're constantly saying that about other people, we're automatically going to feel in our own heads that other people are judging us. So we want to stop judging other people. And that's probably one of the biggest keys is to stop judging other people. Because if we judge other people, we're going to feel like other people are judging us. So celebrate other people, compliment other people, tell other people that they look great. Tell, you know, honestly, sincerely compliment other people. And then you will believe that it's more like likely that people are going to say nice things about you. And the fourth bonus thing is and I'm sure a lot of people have this thought is, oh my God, what does so-and-so think about me? What does this person say about me? What does that person say about me? Well, guess what? That's what everyone's thinking. Everyone's wondering what other people are thinking about them. So when I meet, say, let's say, I don't know, Debbie, and then I'm like worried the whole time. What does Debbie think about me? What does Debbie think about me? Oh my God, does Debbie like me? Blah, 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 blah. Guess what's going through Debbie's mind the whole time? Debbie's thinking the same thing. Does Amanda like me? <laughs> you know? So guess what? Everyone's always concerned with what other people think about them. So if you understand that, that people are just as scared as you, of you as you are of them, and that they're only worried about you accepting them, you've got the advantage, okay? So let that go. Who cares? Who cares what people think about you? Because they're not even they're not even thinking about you. They're too worried about what 
you think of them to be worried about what they think of you, you know, let it go and understand that, you know what, we're all in this together and everybody just wants to be part of a group and they all want to be accepted. So let your uniqueness shine, be the one of a kind person you are. We all have special talents. Mine is not doing taxes. I can tell you that. <laughs> so, you know, love yourself because if you don't love yourself, how in the heck are you going to love anybody else? So I hope this helped. Please punch the like button below if you could relate to any one of those four examples I gave. Thank you for liking, sharing, and subscribing. My website details and Facebook are in the description below. You guys have a great day and love each other.